Welcome to my channel. Here yeah, we are still looking at the facts about construction of triangles. Facts about construction of triangles. As I said on this channel, I usually provide very important information that can help you to have a better performance in your technical drawing examinations, most especially when it comes to the objective question. That is the reason why I provide this information about the construction of triangles. And this will be the fourth video I'm producing on this uh, work. And as I said, that whenever we have to construct a triangle or whenever they ask us to construct a particular triangle, there are things that will be given. And uh, for the construction of this triangle, EFG, so what we are given here is the base angles and also the altitude. We are given the base angles and the altitude. And then, um, so what I need you to uh, note or to take note of in this construction, number one is that angle EFG and angle EGF are the base angles. Angle EFG and angle EGF are the base angles, as you can see here. So angle EFG and angle EGF are the base angles, as it is shown here. And then uh, distance between line uh, line A, B, and line C, D is the altitude that is uh, these two lines are parallel to each other. Okay, I didn't include that here. So line A, B, and line C, D, they are parallel to each other, and distance between them is equal to the given altitude. That is number two. Then number three is that angle D, E, F, angle D, E, F, is equal to base angle EFG. Angle DEF is equal to base angle EFG. So angle angle E uh, D E F angle D E F is equal to the base angle EFG. So this angle here and this angle here they have the same uh, value. Why? Because as we know from mathematics that uh, 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 alternate angles are equal, equal. So this angle and this angle they are alternate angles. So they have the same uh, value. So if this base angle angle is sixty degree, so this angle DEF will also be sixty degree. So they are equal in size because they are alternate angles. So let's pay pay attention to that. Also, angle CEG is equal to base angle EFG. Angle CEG is equal to base angle EGF. So as we have here, so this angle that we have here, CEG, uh, so is equal to the base angle EGF. So this angle here and this angle here, they are alternate angles. They have the same value based uh, 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 as we have said here. So this angle here and this angle here, they have equal size and they have the same value. If this angle is 45 degrees, so this angle will also be 45 degrees. So let's take note of that. Then the last thing that I'll be talking about here is that uh, with all this information given to you with this construction, and if you look at this uh, triangle very well, you see that triangle EFG is a scaling triangle. Triangle EFG is scaling triangle, uh, as we see here. So we have uh, the longest uh, length is uh, is FG, then followed by uh, E uh, EG, and uh, followed by EF. So this makes this triangle to be a scaling triangle, and also the angles are not equal. If this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 45 degrees, so this angle uh, also will be of a particular value if you do cal the calculation. So since the angles are not equal, it means that triangle EFG is a scaling triangle. So these are the information that I uh, I need to give you here. And let's take note that uh, uh, also distance between distance between uh, uh, line A, B, and line C, D is the altitude. So let's pay attention to all this so that we can be able to give the right answer or to shoot to choose the right answer when it comes to uh, technical drawing objective questions. Thank you. Keep on practicing and keep on paying attention in the class when you have been taught. And God bless you.